We thank the Lord because he's a doer of great things. He's a game changer. Amen. Let's just lift up our voices and worship him and praise him in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we worship you. We come to bless and exalt you. We give you the glory, the honor, and the mission. Thank you for not leaving us, O oh God. Thank you for being dependent on God. Thank you for all the things that we can do with us, Lord. Thank you for being dependent on God. Thank you for being dependent on God. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for the spirit of counsel and might. Thank you, Father, for being in our midst. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We thank, we thank you for the blood that was shed on our behalf. We thank you for the redemption. Uh, even during this week, many are gathering to celebrate your finished work on the cross. Father, we do likewise, and we do daily. So we say thank you for this opportunity. It's for us to celebrate. Daily, Lord. So we say thank you for the where you give you give us mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. thank you for the impact you give us concerning your body and the blood. We receive mm-hmm. your father in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm-hmm. Psalm 27 says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even when, even then I'll be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, 
This only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tents and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servants away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. God, my savior, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of your oppressors or my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take hearts and wait for the Lord. Amen. We have this psalm as a prayer unto the Lord and as a prayer of praise and worship unto Him. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you would cause us to be Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you this morning, oh God, that you are the light of our salvation. We shall not fear. But we thank you that you are strong in our life. And we will not be afraid because we trust in you in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what the wicked try to do or advance themselves against us, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are on the new season. Our heart will not fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grace will be because I trust you, Lord. Lord, we are the rock and the land. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you for Thank you. Thank you. And with only do we seek that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, that you would help us looking not to the left or to the right. Oh God, that we will not we will remain in your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. That your word will be ever so great in our heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. For only you, glory to God. In you, we are safe when we dwell in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise this morning. We give you praise individually. The work that you've been doing in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Father. And we bless you that there is none like you. Thank you, you are a rock. Oh God, you're a shelter. Thank you, Lord. We will exalt you in the name of Jesus Christ about the enemy that around you. Around you. And God, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, that we will shout 
even in our no adversary can reach Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Always rise up in your voice. And you hear our voice when we call. My name is Jesus. Thank you for being merciful to us. Thank you for entering our heart seeks your faith, Lord. Amen. Your faith you will speak in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father God, for each time that we gather together in prayer or individually. Father, we're speaking your faith. We're speaking glory to God to commune with you in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I pray this morning that you hear our prayer and receive it as a sweet prayer and save in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, O God. Father, even as you hear our voice, let us hear your voice. I know that you not hide your face from us, Lord. If I declare this open, God, we thank you. And we bless you that you're a helper. Thank you, Lord, for being merciful. Father, we could not handle any rejection from you. In the name of Jesus, Father, who would we want to? Should we be rejected by you? In the name of Jesus. Lord, just have your way this morning. Touch each and every one of our hearts. Touch our minds in the name of Jesus Christ of Lord. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our minds and our hearts with the conscience of subconscience. In the name of Jesus. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor. And we bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Glory to God that you do not speak of. My parents, thank you, Father. No matter what, you will never leave me. Lord, our family members, our friends they may not be there, but you are always there. You're Jehovah, come up. you're right there with us. You never leave us, no mistake. Lord, as we continue in your way, I pray that you would lead us, teach us your way, Lord. Show us the way that you'd have us to go. Pressure, oh God, it was like weak. But you, even as you prayed for Peter, you prayed for us, Lord Jesus. Do not turn us over to the desire of our foe, our enemy. The witnesses have risen up against us, Lord. And the accusation has gone forth in the name of Jesus Christ. For one thing I know, God, that you will remain confident in you, in your goodness, in your mercy, and your grace. Glory to God in the land of the living. The Lord, not in our hearts this morning, not in our minds, but we wait on you, Lord. We're waiting on a touch from you this day. We're waiting on fresh manner from you this day. We're waiting to hear your voice this day. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we say, have your way, Lord, and we submit ourselves to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, that the weapon that the enemy has formed, it will not prosper. Because you, O oh God, are our strong tower in the name of Jesus. We can run to you and we'll be safe in Jesus' name. We give you praise and glory and honor. And we bless you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue to pray this morning from the book of Acts, chapter 12. I'll read a few verses from there, maybe up to verse 10, explain, and then we'll pray together. The word tells us about Peter's miraculous escape from prison. Remember in prison and in this month, 
our theme text that supplements the season of honor is Exodus 8.28. The Bible says here in Acts chapter 12, it was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church intent to persecute them. He had James, the brother of him, put to death with a sword. Now, before I continue, as I read through, I want us to bear these three aspects in mind. So as I read through to put things in perspective for us. We're going to read about John. John here is a representation of love. We're going to read about James. James is a representation of hope. And then we're going to read about Peter. Peter is a representation of faith. So Peter, faith, James, hope, and John, love. So I'll read this again. It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. Had James, meaning hope, the brother of John, love, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this met with approval amongst, among the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the festival of unleavened bread. Amen. During the festival of unleavened bread, that was during the Passover, like the season that we are all in now in the world. After arresting him, he put him in prison, handing, hand, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring, bring him out for public trial after the Passover. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying for him or praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up. And the chains fell off Peter's wrist. The angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so, wrap your cloak around you and follow me. The angel told him. Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it. When they mm -hmm. all had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this portion of scripture. So this, the, the, the chapter continues up to uh, verse 24. So we're just going to end so we can together within our time frame. Now we are told that it was about this time that, it, that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church intending to persecute them. You know, in this season, like we already established, um, Peter is a representation of faith and John is a representation of love and James is a representation of hope. I'm just gonna read two other scriptures to have us understand that these three aspects work together. Our faith work very closely with our hope. Our hope works very closely with love. For example, when we look at Hebrews 11, the Bible tells us here, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. You see here how faith works very closely with hope. It's impossible to say I have faith in God and not have hope or to say I have hope and not have faith in that sense. Amen. So we see how to work together. So if the enemy successfully attacks your faith, he has attacked your, our hope as well. Amen. Amen. That's why we need to keep all of them alive. Now let's read this portion of, I think I'll read just verse 3 here. In Proverbs 3, verse 3. Um, verse 3. Let love and faithfulness never leave your 
bind them around your neck, write them on the tablets of your heart. He says, let love and faithfulness never leave you. As much as faith works very closely with hope, faith works very closely with love. So when love is affected, faith is affected. When hope is affected, faith also is affected. And that is what we see here below. What happens is that faith was affected when love and hope were affected. We are told that it was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. Now hope has been affected and hope is a brother in love. And we, as we have already established, when hope is affected, love is affected. And this is what is um, affecting the church of God. When we start, when our hope in the Lord starts dwindling, it now affects our love for the things of God. We may Amen. have hoped for, the, for so long. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. So we may have hoped for so long. And as a result, we are like, the Lord is certainly, he's, he's not really answering. He's not coming through and that's lasted for so long. And as a result, it starts affecting our love for him and our love for the things of the kingdom. When we start, when, when, when we are being asked to advance the kingdom, we don't have the desire to do so because there's no love, because hope has been done away with. The enemy has successfully attacked our hope. So I want us to begin praying with this. Let's pray as I was pray for the body of Christ, that our hope will be restored. The Bible tells us that God is a God of hope. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, with this morning, I remind you in the name of Jesus. We thank you this morning. We come to lift up the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. We thank you God that God will pray in the name of Jesus. We love for your things. We pray God that do not lose faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that in the end time, man is going to wax cold and unloved of themselves and proud and boastful. I'm thankful and grateful. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let not that be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ, let love reign in the name of Jesus Christ in our hearts and our minds in Jesus' name. And oh God, we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Father, that we can even return to our first love in the name of Jesus Christ. When we owe glory to God, we're introducing you to the person the zeal that we have will be returned back to us. Our brother name is Lord, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we help each and every person that is holy to God. Is waxing cold at this time in the name of Jesus Christ. Every person, oh God, is backing up in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have gone there and to the plow and trying to look back, Father, I pray you have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy on our souls, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are able to walk upright in the name of the name of Jesus Christ. So that we do not lose our own understanding, but in all our ways and knowledge, that you will be at our path in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you and I praise you for all that you're doing and all that you continue to do as we bless you and glorify you because only you, Lord, are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, Jesus. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Romans 15, verse 13, the Bible says, I may the God of hope heal you with all joy and peace. And the Bible continues in that area. But the point of emphasis here is that God is a God of hope. The enemy should never successfully heal that seed of hope in us, because that seed of hope in us is God himself, amen? He's the God of hope. And through that hope, he fills us with 
joy and peace so that we can trust him again. That entire verse tells us that may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. He wants to, the enemy wants to do away with our hope so that we will stop trusting the Lord and as a result, it will be expressed through our lack of love for the Lord and mm. towards him. And he says that when he saw that this met with the approval among the Jews, because of course it will, when there is no hope, our love is affected, it is going to be evident in what we do. When he saw that this met with the approval among the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. The enemy goes step by step. He takes one, he watches how you respond. How you respond will determine which other direction he should take. So he saw that it, it, it met with the approval. He saw that without your hope and without, without your hope, it affects your love for the things of God. So he says, you know what? Now I'm going to do away with your faith as well so that I can totally paralyze you. But it is not our portion. In the name mm -hmm. of Jesus, that in this season, our hope is being restored. Mm -hmm. Our love for the things of God is being restored. And as a result, we move from one level of faith to the other. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We must give him a good hope. It will be in the name of Jesus Christ and allowing you to be the author and finish of our faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you the Bible tells us in the book of First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, that we should be sober and be vigilant always. For our enemy, the devil, is always about yes. a lion roaring for its prey. So he's very strategic. He's able to diagnose a person based on how they respond to circumstances. Amen. He doesn't know much about us, but how we respond will determine the next step that he will, he will take in our direction. Amen. So let's not give him a foothold. Through these few verses, we should also be able to diagnose ourselves and know where we are in our work and in our relationship so that what is dwindling, what the enemy is attacking, we begin to speak life to that area so that we are being restored completely and not give the enemy a foothold. Amen. Amen. Bible says in verse 4, after arresting him, he put him in prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring him out for public trial after the Passover. For some people, their faith has been captured and they are now very stagnant. stagnant. Their faith has been imprisoned. You know, when it comes to faith, you move from one level to the other. You may begin your faith may be weak, our faith may be weak, but the expectation according to the word of God is that we move from weak faith to strong faith, you know, to great faith, and the list continues. But for some, when, we, when, when that seed of faith is being sown in our lives as we become children of God, 
we actually experience shipwreck, something known as shipwreck faith. And we are no longer functional. functional. We, we become stagnant. But I pray that it will not be a portion in the name of Jesus, that we are moving from mm -hmm. one level of faith. May, that, may you declare that for yourself and for the body of Christ, that our faith is progressive. We are moving, we are maturing in faith from one level to the other. In the name of Jesus, we will not forever live at the level where our faith is weak, that we will grow to much, we will mature in our faith. Amen. We will go to strong faith and great faith for the glory of God. But I told us, so Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God. Like we are doing this morning, we are praying that our faith will rise for the glory of God of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now we are being told here that the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He mm -hmm. struck him on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off. Peter's wrist. I want us to bring this up as a prayer unto the Lord that for those whose faith is sleeping, may the Lord release angels to come and quicken them for the glory of God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring for you, the church at night. for those who In you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Because Lord. Bless your holy name, Lord. You are the great I am in Jesus' name. And whatever weapon that the enemy is forming against us, oh God, it will not prosper. Lord, bless your God and glorify you. We said you are not worthy to be praised, Lord. Thank you for the faith that you have bestowed upon each and every one of us in the body of Christ. God, you receive it but without making it. While we are still here, let me say we thank the Lord that we can make open ourselves to make you ourselves available to be used. Thank you for the faith. Thank you for the faith. Thank you this morning. Thank you for hope. Thank you for love. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And the angel said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. <clears throat> so wrap your cloak around you and follow me. The angel told him, It is by faith that we put on the armor of God. Amen. It is by faith that we put on that shoe. To go and preach Amen. from place to place. You know, the Bible talks about put on, it's putting on the garment of righteousness, putting on the garment of salvation. When you walk around, you don't see it. It is by faith that all of those things are, are being worn. It is by faith that we put on the entire armor of God, that we walk with that shield and all of those. So my prayer, our prayer should be that when we have been awakened, when we receive this help, may we not fail to put on the necessary that we need to put on on this journey in order mm. to boost up our faith in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. And we do so by faith as well. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you this morning, oh God. 
Bless your holy name, Father. Thank you. Lord, thank you. 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 Have your way in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Then the angel said, put on your clothes and sandals, and Peter did so. Obedience is necessary on our part. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Obedience, obedience, obedience. The angel told him. Mm -hmm. He followed, Peter followed him out of the prison. But he had no idea what that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought it was seeing a vision. They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gates leading to the city. It opened up, opened for them by itself, and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly <clears throat> the angel left him. Amen. Amen. Pause the one I read from Exodus 8:28, which is a theme text for them. For the month, the Bible tells us that Pharaoh said, I will let you go to offer sacrifices to the Lord your God in the wilderness, but you must not go very far. Now pray for me. We had already established on multiple counts that in this season we are addressing the bondages and uh, the captivity. And we may be free from bondage, but still held in captivity. But our desire is that for those who have been released from bondage, they will also be released from captivity in the name of Jesus. And for those who are released from bondage, they will be released from bondage and captivity as well. Amen. And we give so many examples to establish the differences between bondage and captivity. And in Exodus 8, 28, we see that Pharaoh will let you go, but he will to put a condition on your freedom. He'll say, go, but don't go far. That's captivity. But the Bible tells us that he who the son of God makes free. Free indeed. Meaning that we are free indeed from the bondages and captivity. Now come Acts chapter 12, verse, um, verse 9 through 10, where now we now begin to understand that Peter has left a place of bondage, imprisonment. Mm -hmm. But he was he was enabled by angelic assistance. So in yes. this angels to release us from bondages, from imprisonment. So need them to release us from in the name of Jesus. And mm -hmm. in verse nine, that Peter followed him out of the prison, out of bondage. But he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. Regardless, he was being released from bondage. Now the Bible tells us, I want us to look at the stages because he would have been let out of prison but he would have still faced some obstacles in front of him. The Bible says that they passed the first, and they passed the second guards and came to the iron gate. Yes. What um, benefit would it have been to Peter to leave prison and then come and stand before guards? He will still be arrested. You've left the prison bars, they're behind you. Yet, you're standing before obstacles again. If these prison guards are awake, they'll still hold you captive. You'll still not get out, even though you're not in chains. Mm -hmm. And that is what is happening to our lives, to most people's lives. They leave the prison, yet they face the obstacles. The Bible says that they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate. 
Also, we may pass the first guards, we may pass the second guards, and we may have left prison altogether, but the gates of influence never open up to us. So we are praying in the name of Jesus that we are indeed free from bondage, bondages, captivities, the first and second guards, and beyond that, the gates of the city, the gates of influence will open up to us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Open up Thank you for all. Thank you for everyone. That person is special. city. In the name of Jesus. May we grab our communication, please. Hebrews 10, 19 to 21 says, so friends, we can now without hesitation walk right up to God into the holy place. Jesus has cleared the way by Amen. the blood of his sacrifice. Jesus has cleared the way, the way of obstacles, the way of imprisonment. He has cleared the way of captivity, the way of bondages. Any, uh, anything that resists us and prevents us from becoming all that we ought to be in the kingdom, the blood of Jesus has cleared the way. Amen. Acting as our priest before God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the curtain into God's presence is his body. So this morning we partake of the blood of Jesus, we partake of the body of Jesus with the understanding that the path has been cleared. And we'll continue in our own quiet times as we partake, partake and begin to continue to declare that the blood of Jesus has cleared the way. We have received angelic help, but in case there is any of the other obstacle, the blood has cleared the way for us. And the blood will never have been available if the body was not broken. So this morning we break bread with that understanding in the name of Jesus. Let us Amen. Oh, thank you. Please lift up your voice and let's pray together. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for praying the way through your blood and the sacrifice that you become our high priest. We have to pray for the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you for the blood. Your blood, the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, that has cleared the way for us. So therefore, we have access into places that you intend for us to gain access to, and most especially yeah. your presence. In Jesus' name, Amen. let's start it together. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 We continue to meditate on that portion of Scripture. For as long as you identify any bondage or any captivity in your life, you can always defer to that portion of Scripture. When you realize that your faith has been attacked. Check, check your love and your hope life. When you realize that your love has been attacked, check your hope and your faith life. And when you realize that your hope has been attacked, check your faith and your love life for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We share our greetings. May the grace of our Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be I will come now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. And we will, and we will dwell in the name of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have a productive day, family. Have you all. Thank you. Thank you.